Today we're showcasing Deedprod. Today I'm going to show you how to register a domain name for your website and we'll show you three different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Plus I'll cover some tips on the best way to pick the domain for your website. So if you're ready, let's dive in. First, the domain name is super important for your website. It's how people know you. For instance, our domain name for WP Beginner is WPBeginner.com and that's how we know how to tell people where to go to find us online. So it's super important to have for your website. And it's the first step in most of the process. Now, normally domain names cost an average of $14.99 a year. They can be as little as $9.99 or as much as $17 if a renewal is going on, but that's about the average. And so if you're just getting started and you need to set up a domain name and hosting, then going through something like Bluehost will be your best option. But Bluehost has agreed to offer our users a free domain name, plus you also get an SSL certificate that makes your site secure, which comes out to about a 60% discount if you go through our link in the description below. And you'll see this website where you wanna click on the big Get Started Now button, and then you need to just select your plan. Once you select your plan, then you can move on. This really depends on what you need for your website. If you want just one website, you can choose the basic to just get started. If you know that you're going to add more domains, then you could choose something like the unlimited websites for just a little bit more. This is perfect if you keep coming up with great ideas of the next project to do, the next project to do, then that might be something for you. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to click the basic to show you the process. And then this is where you create your domain. And then if it's available, you can click next. And if it is available, it will go ahead and set it up for you. Great. So it says it's available. You can go on and register all the information. Then just know that when you scroll down here, this is the package information. And this is the idea that the more that you, the longer you go, the less expensive it will be. And so that's why they're giving you the basic 36 month price. And then you see right here, the primary domain registration will be free along with the SSL certificate. And then scrolling down, they just have some upsells, a few extra packages. We normally just go through and turn all of these off. And then you see, you can get it down to a total savings of 59.42. If you go to the full amount here, then you see that you get as much as the 69% savings and you have hosting for three years now. So pick the one that works best for you. And then you just wanna go through, add your payment information, agree to the auto renewal, and then you'll have your domain as well as your hosting account, which is perfect to get you set up to start your website. Now, if you already have a hosting account and you just want to register a new domain, don't worry, I have show you two different ways that you can do that. The first one is by going to domain.com. This is one of the largest registrars. I mean, they have domain in the name, so they are very well known for getting domain names. You can simply go through here, see if you have your website address available. So we see it's available and they've already added it to our cart. And then they give you some other information like the domain privacy. Just like with Bluehost, they are doing some suggested add-ons and you can choose to either keep them or not. I also have a few ideas about other domain names that you can add to your order. Then over here on the right, you can choose what all you want. And just know that this is just for the domain, whereas with Bluehost was with domain as well as hosting. So you can choose to do just one year at one at $9.99 to get going. Scrolling through, they have a few other suggestions that you can choose from. You can also choose to just scroll down and just proceed to billing. From here on the shopping cart, you can see that all you're going to be billed for is a domain purchase for one year, and then you can go through and fill it all out and purchase now. And then you will have a domain through domain.com. Now, the third method is by going through GoDaddy. GoDaddy is the largest registrar out there with over 77 million websites that they have registered. From here, you can go through and see if they have your website. What's cool about them is if they don't have your website, they'll give you some suggestions underneath. But in this case, it looks like they do. So that's perfect. We can say add to cart and then you can continue to cart. And from here, you can choose which items to select. So we're going to say no thanks to all of that. You can also uncheck that if you want to create it email list, you can do that. Let's just continue to cart. So we're going to just do one year for this. And now you can check out and then just go through this process of either creating an account or if you have an account, you can log in. 
and then go through the billing information to get your domain name. Now there are millions of domain names coming up every quarter. In fact, just this quarter, third quarter alone, Q3 of 2020, there were 163.coms and .nets registered. So how do you find the best domain name for your website? There's three main things that we recommend. There's a whole list of more that you can watch this video that we cover on how to pick the perfect domain name. But the three ones that we recommend right out of the box is make sure it's a .com. You want a .com for your domain name. I know it's sometimes really difficult, especially with so many being registered every year, but the .com people always remember that over any other extension. So if you can get the .com, get the .com. The other thing we recommend is don't put any hyphens in your name is too difficult for people to remember and don't put any numbers in your name because a lot of times people don't know why well, are you supposed to write out the number or is it the number itself so make sure you want use one of those methods to pick the domain name that works best for you and check out this video next where i walk you through step by step on how to create your own website where i walk you through how to install wordpress how to set up a theme your logo and so much more and thanks for watching